Hello, listeners, and welcome to the DB Singh podcast. I'm Neeti, and today we will be talking about DB Singh experience in terms of product, services, onboarding, value, and return on investment. And for that, we have a very special guest with us from Folks Right. Hello, Trisha. A very good afternoon. How's your day been so far? Um, well, I'm watching it snow, so I guess that's good. Wow, I think that's beautiful. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's quickly do a round of introduction. Let me start by asking you, what is your role at Focusrite? So right now, I am the Senior Vice President of Finance, and I am also the Salesforce Admin for Focusrite. Okay, that's great. And how long has it been that you are associated with Focusrite? I've been with Focusrite since May of 2008, so quite wow. a while. Yeah, almost more than 10 years now. That's a long yep. time. <laughs> <laughs> so you're enjoying working with Focusrite, or what are your plans? Um, I enjoy working with Focusrite. So I have both Focusrite and a sister brand mm -hmm. called Intopia. So they're both under the North Star Travel Media okay. um, group. Wonderful. All right, so when did you sign up for DB Sync? You know, I'm just going back through my emails to try to find the exact date. And my emails only go back to 2012, and I know it was before that. Um, so sometime between 2008 and 2012. I think probably 2010, maybe 2011. Okay, great. I think so you kind of have spent, um, you know, more than six years now with DB Sync, and that kind of gives me an indication that you're pretty happy with DB Sync services as well, right? Um, not only that, but I actually started using DB Sync when we were on QuickBooks, mm -hmm. and as the company has grown, we've moved over to NetSuite, which is a bigger and badder uh, accounting system, and I took DB Sync with me. So I am I am extremely loyal to you guys. I, I love the service that I've gotten. Um, I like the product. Um, every time I come up with a new, hey, I wonder if we can do this, your team jumps right in and they're like, of course we can. This is what we need to do and works with me on it. So it's, it's been a great experience on my side. Wow. Do you remember any names, possibly people you have been working with in DB Sync? I bet you I could pull up a couple of you. Give me just two seconds. Yes. So I have worked with, I feel like there should be a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that there. <laughs> um, Avinash. Lovely. Yeah. He's Am one I of the tenure right? we have. Um, I've also dealt with um, Pratik uh, Seneca. Uh -huh. Again, right. I may be butchering these names. I apologize if I if I am. I think you, uh, you did it absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, David um, said here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so those are the ones that I've been dealing with um, in the past couple of years. Right. So um, based on the names you took. Let me just tell you, that's like across sales to, um, uh, you know, managing your project to account management. So David uh, is into sales and then the project might have gone to Avinash and then it would have uh, reached the account manager, uh, Pratik. So okay. you kind of, I think, have an experience um, interacting with all of them now. All departments, yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> and I have not had a bad experience yet. So that's, that speaks wonders that I'm going across your organization and it's been great the whole way. Beautiful. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> okay, it is. so what were you doing before we engage? What problem were you trying to really solve? Or what were your problems and challenges? Uh, what was your state of mind at that time? <laughs> so my state of mind was um, very, very frustrated because what was happening as our sales team was up and live on Salesforce, and they've been using Salesforce for many years. 
um, keeping track of, of how they were billing, um, of what contracts they were bringing in, what their pipeline was, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, but then what would happen is the contract would come in, um, they would close one they're up, and then they were emailing out the contract to accounting saying, okay, I need you to bill this. Well, as you know, salespeople sometimes get busy. And when they get busy, they always make sure that closed one happens in Salesforce, but sometimes they forget that, that emailing portion of it. Um, so what was happening is then now accounting was getting the contract and they were manually keying it into QuickBooks to build the client and to do the revenue recognition. And um, I was, I, when I came on board um, a long, long time ago, I was one of the people that was heading up the, the billing. And I'm like, this, is, this seems silly because we're doing the data entry twice. The salespeople are keying it all into Salesforce. Um, and then accounting is having to key in the exact same information. And it just didn't make sense to me. So I went on the Salesforce App Exchange mm -hmm. and took a look for um, integrations um, that would, would link QuickBooks and, and Salesforce. And I found your um, solution and a couple of others, and I tested them, and I liked your solution the best. Mm -hmm. um, and it was and it was cost effective, so I reached out to your team and we set up a sync so that when something got closed one in Salesforce, it would automatically flip a flag and sync over to QuickBooks. Um, and we had the choice when we first set it up, we made it so that it wouldn't be on automatic sync, that it would get reviewed, and there was a report that would automatically generate telling me what was set to sync and then I could review it and then and manually sync. Mm -hmm. um, and then it got to the point where once I was comfortable with the data and everything was working the way it was supposed to, it was just a, an automatic sync over to QuickBooks. And then every day we could just look at what showed up in QuickBooks, review it quickly to make sure there was nothing that looked odd going out to the customer mm -hmm. and then emailed out. So wow. it, saved, it saved hours upon hours of, of accounting time for billing not to mention what was happening at month end when we were still doing the manual system. Um, you would try to reconcile what you what you've put through QuickBooks versus what you had in Salesforce, and the reconciliations were getting so time time consuming because it you know as I said before, salespeople um, are very very busy folk, and um, sometimes a, a contract or two or twelve wouldn't get emailed out. Mm -hmm. um, so that reconciliation time is now nominal lovely and uh, i can completely see uh, the 10 years or more than 10 years of work um that that you've uh, done at focus right uh with all the talking that you did in the past one minute um and, and you know your system so well and the process so well i think it's it's very rare that i've come across people i'm talking to um, who know the systems really well and what exactly was happening versus what exactly is happening now and what kind of improvement has been there in the past couple of years. It's amazing. Right, and we're, we're constantly looking for ways to make it better. So once we got the initial sync going, um, we added on to that sync and made it bidirectional so that the invoicing and the payment information was syncing back to Salesforce so as the salespeople were making calls on their people, they could see at any given time, so they're going to account XYZ, and they could see, oh, I'm going to sell this guy, but he's got four invoices already open that are past due. Mm -hmm. And he would know that walking in. Mm -hmm. So that it, it, got a, it prevented situations where we were consistently selling to customers who weren't paying. Um, and all that information was up front. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So... Um... You mentioned that, uh, you know, when you contacted our sales team, I just wanted to kind of know, um, were you given any kind of uh, trial period or trial run that, that happened at that time? Um, I believe this was so long ago, but I believe we had a 30-day trial. Okay. Um, and um, there was definitely a lot of hand-holding on the setup. Mm-hmm. So I, I, it wasn't one of those products where they're like, here you go, build this API and you're done. It was, they were talking me through the mapping, um, helping me create the fields that we needed, helping me create reports when things didn't work. Um, they were very generous when I called them up and said, okay, my sync stopped, I don't know why. 
and they would help walk me through um, everything that went through. Okay, great. So can you share some of the experiences that made you really decide to do business with us? Um, I think it was just the ease of use of the product and how, how responsive your team was. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of times when, you, when you're first learning a product, you're asking perhaps not the most intelligent questions. Um, you know, kind of like when you get your new phone, it's like, okay, how do you turn it on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those kinds of questions. And your team never made me feel like I was an inconvenience or that it was a stupid question. They would just work through all the issues um, and, and make sure that I was happy with the product and that I was satisfied with the product. Um, and they were not going to let a situation go until they knew that I was 100% satisfied. Wow, that's amazing to hear. Uh, the team is going to be very happy when I tell them all this. <laughs> They're going going to be on cloud nine. <laughs> and and that one on Friday. Right can, you... <laughs> can you play it right before I negotiate next year's contract? Oh, yes, totally. <laughs> I'm in for it. <laughs> okay, so um, I know you've done a lot of uh, description work here, but yes, how is it working with us? And in what area did you get the most value? What do you think that is? Oh, that just the time savings and, and the, the elimination of errors from the duplicate data entry. Um, that's priceless, you know, because now you've got, um, you're not hiring accounting people that are doing data entry, you're hiring accounting people that are doing analysis. Right. Um, and it's, it's just so, you know, it, it, it ups, um, it gives you more stable, better data that you're sending to your clients. But on top of that now, for the, for the same amount of personnel in your accounting department, you're not sitting there just generating invoices, you're actually generating analysis and saying, okay, with this particular product, we're doing so much better than last year, we're doing worse than last year, mm -hmm. or, you know, your, our clients are doing, are doing different things, our product mix is different. So the level of analysis that we can do with the same headcount is, is awesome because we're not spending all that time just doing data entry. Right. And, and I think that answers my next question. I was about to ask you what kind of results did you achieve uh, from working with us and how would you really describe the transformation? So if you want to add or let me know about, you know, um, how this transformation was, because, you know, you've been working with focus right for more than 10 years so i'm sure you've seen uh the maximum uh, amount of transformation right from 2008 to 2019 yeah like i said um i'm kind of reiterating on the, on this one it just changed the the nature of the finance department and the function of the finance team mm -hmm. and it wasn't just uh you know turn around and spit out information it was actually taking data and, and analyzing it and helping to be strategic and helping to do predictive analytics versus, um, like I said, just kind of sitting there and going, okay, Joe Smith gets an invoice for $15, let's move on um, to the next one. Um, it made reconciliation seamless, um, helped on month end close. Our month end close process at one point was um, almost two weeks. It's now down to um, three days, uh, and a lot of that's just the, the amount of reconciliation time that's, that's gone away, um, and having to try to manually catch up on billing and things like that. Got it. So uh, what would you like to advise someone who's evaluating DB Sync right now? It's so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say... Um, I would say definitely look at not just the initial setup, but really think about the bi-directional mm -hmm. and, and not just feeding system, the, the information into to the one system, but to feed it back into both. Um, because it really gives, the more information you can give people and the cleaner and most accurate information you can give people, the better they can do their jobs, whether it be the salespeople, the accounting people, management from the reporting um you know there's and there's probably so much more that db sync could do that i haven't touched yet mm -hmm. um but um we'll get there 
Yeah, we we actually I'm always, looking, I'm always looking for ways to be um be more efficient. Right. And yes, DB Sync definitely is there for you to improve processes at Focusrite and, you know, help you meet your business goals in a better manner every single time. So um, let's talk about some numbers, if we can here. Uh, what was your return on investment from working with us? Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure the best way to quantify it, and it's been so long. Mm -hmm. um, I will tell you that we did um, reduce headcount in the accounting department um, by, by um, one person. Um, we let that happen by attrition as opposed to getting rid of them, but um, we were so much more efficient that it just made sense. Um, I told you about the process of closing the books is so much faster so that management is getting the reporting sooner. Um, that the ability that, to generate the analytics, a lot of this, how do you put dollar amount on um, being able to generate better analytics? And, mm -hmm. and cleaner analytics. Um, and um, I think we've decreased the number of sales that we've done to people that were chronic non-payers because the salespeople have that information available. Right. Um, I think that the, uh, you know, the salespeople have become more efficient because as they're getting questions from their customers, it's about, you know, what, what invoice was this? They could immediately generate out, you know, say what invoice number it was and, and makes the communication, um, mm -hmm. you know, the increased communication between salesperson, accounting department, and client was so much more streamlined because everybody had the same amount of information. Right. I, don't, I, I don't even know how to put a dollar amount to that, especially after all this time. Um, you know, probably from a straight dollar impact, you see the most of it the first couple of years. But I can say that ongoing, I'm continually getting return on that investment. Okay, got it. I think um, that's, that's amazing to hear. And yes, I do agree. When all the systems have same information and that too transferred within, you know, seconds, all the teams are, you know, at the same level and all the teams have the same information at the same time, it makes decision making so much better. And everything is like so instant. You can simply look up in the system and, and the information is there. The, the invoice information is there, the amount is there. So yes, it, it really helps because we, we kind of, uh, you know, have all the systems integrated here itself uh, when it comes to accounting or CRMs and, you know, it helps account managers and, um, uh, you know, other teams so much better. Even when we are talking to a client, we have the information right away. So, yes, I, I, I can totally relate to what she just mentioned. But, yes, uh, I know you've, you've said a lot of flurry things and a lot of good things about DB Sync, but no company or no organization is perfect. What can be improved? What do you think? that we at this point are lacking in so that we can pay more attention? Um, you know, right now we still have to, when we do manual syncing, it's still having to, to do, the, there's several clicks that you have to do to get the sync to run. And it would be nice to be, to be able to just go through and just, you know, a single click sync. Um, it would be even nicer to, to not have to go to an to a outside website to do it, to be able to, you know, embed a widget into either Salesforce or NetSuite um, to be able to do the sync from there rather than have to go outside of those systems. Got it. We will take down this point and definitely pass it on to the management so that we can work with the development team and, you know, get something up and running uh, for you uh, to make it easier and simpler to use Okay, Trish, so do you have anything to pass on to the management or people working at DB Sync? You guys have been great, great partners, and I, I really do appreciate the effort that you almost treat me like, um, like you're a member of our team, like you're a member of our company, and that um, what our needs are become your needs. And it's very rare to find that in a company, and um, it's very much appreciated on my side. It's really nice to hear that, Trish. And, um, you know, likewise, as I said, that 
We are always there for you, um, working as your business partner and uh, understanding your needs better with changing times and providing better solution. Awesome. Right. With that, thank you so much, Trish. And uh, I highly awesome. appreciate your time today, you know, giving your insight on uh, DB Singh services, your experience. And um, just in case you need anything, just let us know and we'll be there for you like always. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. You too. You have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.